So I'm coming down through the shopping district here, and I noticed something new right here. What do we have? Rename paper with username and place in chest. Um, is there any other explanation as to what this is? What am I... What am I signing up for here? You know what? Why not? What do I have to lose, right? And we'll put it in the chest. And since I'm here in the shopping district, I noticed something new. Let's check out the new shop we got here. I'm pretty sure this is Rob's. I believe I saw that on his episode, but we'll take a look here. Bits and Rob's. I tell you, that's really one of the best possible names he could have chosen. That is amazing. I love that name. Uh, let's see. We've got sand. One diamond for two stacks. Ooh, this is a... That's a good deal. That's a really good deal. Um, gravel, one diamond for two stacks. Yeah, I really like that idea. Um, sand and gravel are two of the ones that it's, it's just kind of a hassle to try and, uh, try and mine. I mean, uh, we have a gravel biome, uh, semi close by, um, so we can go there and get some, but you know, sometimes it's just easier just to go ahead and buy it yourself. Ooh, book and quill. That's a good one. I'm going to need some of this. I, I might actually end up buying all three of those. Um, because I need some for my Labyrinth game. Regular books, that's a pretty good deal. This is a really cool looking build. This is uh, kind of reminiscent of a uh, a barge a little bit, but man, that's a, uh, I really like that. I like those, those colors and stuff like that. This is a really cool build. Um, and you can fly through it. That's honestly probably the best part of the whole thing. All right, so let's head back down here real quick. Let's take a look. We got a couple other places. Looks like a lot of people AFK right now. Um, building up some more resources for everything. So this section of my labyrinth is um, mostly done. So yeah, I finished this the rest of the way up, I think. Um, I might add some paintings or some heads or something else in here as decoration. But I added the magma blocks in here for that kind of a cool glow. And I really love the look of these lodestones. These are really cool looking blocks. Now, sadly, they are super expensive to craft because they require a netherite ingot. So that's kind of a bummer, but I really like the look of it. So it was kind of worth it in this case. Um, and I have quite a bit of netherite at this point in time. Um, I added some more chains in here, kind of giving it that feel. We're going to change this up a little bit. This uh, seems just kind of bland to me. So this is going to change a little bit. Um, so we're not stuck on that design, but everything else in here is pretty much done. I have added the lecterns into each spot. This lectern is actually placed kind of annoyingly and it's placed here on purpose. So this lectern is kind of a bit of a hassle because it kind of gets in your way of kind of running through here. And so the idea is you don't want to, uh, I don't want somebody to get too much of a run and end up just, you know, sailing right through it. Um, changed up these side blocks for a little bit of that gilded blackstone. Another really cool looking block, I think. Um, and then, of course, I've added my cobwebs in through here. There's going to be more cobwebs right around here, but I have not added those yet because um, I'm wanting to walk back and forth through here as I work on the level the rest of the way. So I don't want to uh, don't want to get this too much. Um, over here, I have placed most of the wither roses. There is a path through them. Um, I'm not going to take it on this video. I'm actually going to go ahead and take a little damage here as I go through. But I have strategically placed, again, more cobwebs so that you can't just, you know, jump up on the side and kind of, you know, get out and around. No, you pretty much got to go the whole way out and around because um, if not, then... Uh, oh, got me. Yep, yep, yep. So as you see, it does, even with another armor, you still... It holds up pretty well, but you still take damage. Um, and here... You know, kind of finish this section up. I'm going to have my puzzle and riddles here together. Um, through here, I have changed out some of the blocks for some obsidian here just to kind of give this a little bit darker of a look. Again, you know, more lecterns placed through here. Back in through here, I have actually changed this section up. So initially, I only had this floor, this uh, blue floor, halfway across this room. I went ahead and just, you know, filled the rest of the room out with it. So at this point, you know, you've got uh, the entire room here which of course has a puzzle and you will have to complete that. Um, and then, so this is complete. I don't have this bar down. Okay. That was painful. Had to kind of fly through there cause I don't have this down yet. <laughs> um, back in through here, this has been mostly finished up. 
Um, left one in here, of course, I added some additional decoration. You know, some paintings here and there. Uh, that's a really weird painting, but... Okay. Um, so yeah, this one, this area is pretty much finished up. And then we have this area here. Um, this was finished up the rest of the way by Cobra Commander. Um, how did I not fly there? Oh, it's hitting that. Um, okay, let's see if I can get through this without, like, killing myself. There we go. Okay. 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 Oh, oh. Perfect flying. Um, so yeah, this was finished up by Cobra for me. Um, I really like his design sense. So he added in some of these just like random textures that I didn't even think to add. So he kind of made like a path up through here, which is really cool. So he's got like the path blocks, um, some coarse dirt, added these uh, some gravel and slabs, and it just it flows so much better through here. Um, addition, additionally, these uh, these dead bushes and stuff like that um really just make a huge difference added some reeds in some bamboo uh, i just think it looks absolutely amazing um you know i still have the sea pickles in there and stuff like that for the light um you know it's just really really cool i might have to do something underneath to kind of block that light off i didn't realize that the steps kind of let light through um so i can fix that later but no that actually is pretty cool so yeah this is uh this is this room now you know fully finished up um, I might do something up on the dark, dark walls, um, but I'm not, I'm not sure I need to at this point yet. So this is going to be the last task and puzzle of this build. So we'll head down out of here through my maintenance access for right now. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I have finished up most of the, all the redstone is finished up at this point in time. Um, and uh, the, this is just a bit of a concrete and a slab thing to protect some redstone from the water that's above. So as we're working on things up there, I don't accidentally punch a block out and wipe out all of my redstone since the redstone is directly on the floor. So we just did a little bit of water protection there. Um, but yeah, redstone's finished and uh, this game is just about ready to go. So if we check down through here, you'll see... Um, other levels are finished up. This is the next level down. This is Avians. And this one is finished. And we go on down a little bit farther. This is Badamir's level. And as you can see here, it is finished. Um, additional redstone back here for everything. I mean, these are so advanced and I absolutely love it. And then the last one, the bottom level, this is Rob's level. And this is also completely finished. So I am super excited. Um, the only thing that we have left to do is to finish up the lobby area and for me to finish up, you know, how players will get into mine. Um, the only thing I have left on mine is I have to fill out the rest of these lectern books um, to make sure the players know what's going on and how to actually how to actually play the game. So that's all that I really have left. Um, it's mostly done. So I am super excited about this. I did not think we would be able to get this done so quickly. I think we've been working on these levels now, each of us, for, oh, I mean, probably a couple weeks, you know, so it hasn't taken near as long as I thought it would have to create something so massive. So I am super excited about this labyrinth thing. I know we're going to want to put some sort of, like, grand entrance up here, up top for it. Um, you know, you want to have a, a cool entrance, and that, that'll lead down to the lobby and stuff like that. So we're going to be doing some work with that. I think we're going to all get together on here Um you know, in real life, probably tomorrow for me, um, we're going to all get together and we're going to sit down, kind of talk here on Discord, and we're going to start building. I think we're going to all build the lobby out all together. We're going to kind of collaborate on it and uh, and we're going to see how it ends up looking. Okay, so one more thing I wanted to kind of show off here a little bit is I did a little bit more work on my iron farm building and uh, I have two of the four walls done. Of course, this is the one that has the massive pizza on the front of it. And uh, yes, I did use uh, shulker boxes as scaffolding here to get up on top of that because I wasn't fast enough to get up there by myself. So, here it is. Two of the four walls done. I am going to have to move my crane, which is sad, but I really, I couldn't even land on it. Um, I will have to move my crane, which is a bit of a bummer, but other than that, you know, I can deal with it. I cannot land on anything to save myself. So anyway... Two of the four walls done. I want to kind of get that one finished up. I'll get my crane moved, and then we'll uh, get this entire iron farm encased in a massive building. Hey, guys. You having fun? Sitting there summoning iron golems and watching them fall to their... or burn to their demise. Much to their dismay, I'm sure, as well. 
All right, guys, that's it for me this episode. I really appreciate you guys tagging along. If you would, hit that subscribe button. That'll really help me out, and I appreciate every one of you guys watching these videos. We will catch you guys on the next episode.